What is up ladies and gentlemen, today we are back with another A to Z of Ark and we are taking a look at the Hyenodon. Now guys, these are generally found in packs, they're found on every map except Aberration. And in order to tame these guys up, they are a passive tame, however you will need to separate them from their pack. Now they will generally spawn in an area in a pack and uh, you can find the highest level one by looking for the glow. Once you've found the highest level one, grab the highest level one, take it away from the pack and uh, you'll eventually be able to tame it once it's far away from, far away enough from the pack. And you can see over here that we have a trap set up for this little dude. We're gonna drop it in this trap and we'll go over the trap when uh, it de-aggros. Now for this, I would recommend bringing some uh, ghillie armor as it does help taming up these guys because it will calm them down. Once you've dropped it in your trap, however, simply fly straight up until it leaves render distance. Once it's left render distance, you can then fly back down and you should be able to tame this without any issues. So make sure you've got a full set of ghillie because the ghillie definitely does help. And you can see there it's still in render, still in render and it's gone now. So we should be good to fly back down and uh, it'll be pretty much ready to tame up. But you want to keep the ghillie suit on because it does reduce the sort of the aggro range of dinos. And it kind of makes you, I guess making you invisible is the same sort of thing as reducing the aggro range, I suppose. Nonetheless, once you get down here, all you need to do then is simply tame up the hyenodon. Now for this trap, what we've done is we've just made a too high structure. And what we've done is we've put a foundation of two foundations, some stone walls, and then on top we've put uh, some stone hatch frames. The hyenodon can't fit through these, and all you can need to do is simply walk up to it and pet it. If we can get its pet, I think it's still trying to get away from us. You can see there there's no pet option. Pet option. So if that's the case, simply run away from it, grab your RG, fly back up again, and uh, you can do it like that. Now, you don't need to build this trap. Obviously, it's only if you want to try and keep it in that one area. I have had plenty of luck taming up hyenodons without traps. It's entirely up to you guys. You just need to make sure that you separate them far enough from their uh, from their initial pack and you de-aggro them. And once that's done, they're pretty much easy tames to get. So we're going to fly a little bit higher here now. Probably just fly straight up to the skybox, to be honest. I think that'll probably do. Let's go back down here and uh, we'll try and show you guys the penning mechanic. Alrighty guys, we are back at the trap and you can see that we do have the option to pet it. And you can see there, just like that, simple as. That's all you need to do. You then need to wait 30 seconds to be able to pet it again. Make sure you are around when that 30 seconds is up because these guys do lose taming effectiveness relatively fast. But um, this is more than enough. You can do a one by one. You just need to be really good with how you drop uh, the hyena don into the trap. It definitely works with a one by one. I just went with a two by a uh, one by two so that we wouldn't miss the uh, the trap when we drop the hyena don in. And that's simply it. That's all you need to do. Sit under here and tame this guy up. Now, like I said, it is best to do one at a time so that you reduce the risk of these guys getting scared and running away from you. But uh, yeah. Pretty easy guys to tame up once you've got the trap set up and you've got your full set of ghillie and whatnot. Um, and you've got an Argy or a Griffin or anything like that that you can use to pick up the Hyenodons. And yeah, this is all you need to do. You need to babysit it until it's tamed up. But uh, yeah, they won't be able to get through these hatch frames. And once it is tamed up, all you need to do is simply demolish either the hatch frames or a stone wall. And it'll uh, follow out and you can use it. Now guys, once you've tamed up your hyena don, you can see we've got this little chick here. She's all tamed up. These guys are very potent. They're very dangerous. Um, when you get a whole pack of them going, they can deal out some serious damage. They do have a sort of saddle. It's called a meat pack. This actually increases the spoil time of meat items in its inventory by times eight, I believe. Pretty sure it's times eight. So... Chuck this on. This also provides them with armor as well, and they do heal off consuming meat. So if you've got them attacking corpses and stuff like that, they will heal rapidly when they consume a corpse. Um, and if you put preserving salt as well in their inventory, it will increase the preserve preservation timer of all your meats and stuff like that by 16 times the amount, which is absolutely nuts. You can also get a uh, relatively good high in it on meat pack saddle BPs from pretty much everywhere, um, which makes them even tankier and stronger. But once you get a, once you get two of these guys, you can easily breed them up to get your own pack going. And these guys can easily demolish really anything they come across. 
Uh, for now, though, what we're going to do, we're going to spawn in a bunch of them. We're going to spawn in a couple, and we'll show you guys their wrecking power. Okay, guys. So here we've got four Hyenodons, and we've got this one here who is now the Alpha. Now, when you pet them as well, they receive a 50% damage reduction. So if we pet them, you'll see there they have like a glowing effect. This only lasts for a very small amount of time. But we've got this very conveniently placed Rex in the water here. We're going to get our Hyenodons to come in here and attack them. If you guys want to come and attack. Get the Rex. Get the, get the Rex. Get the Rex. And you'll see the damage that they do. Too. Look at this. Look at that damage that they addition out. That's just from the one that we tamed up. Look at the damage. Now, these guys are absolutely nuts when it comes to their damage output. You get a solid pack of these guys, and you can easily take on anything. Literally. Like, okay, except for maybe bosses. You might be pushing it there with bosses. But the Hyindodons are super strong, and they're definitely worth investing in if you like dogs and stuff like that. And like I said, they reduce the spoil timer by eight times. So, for example, if we take this Prime Meat out, you can see there it's got four minutes and 30 seconds. Chuck it in here. It's got 36 minutes. 8 times 4 is 36, I believe. I hope I'm not wrong. What's 8 times 5? 8 times 5? 8 times 5? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, aside from my shoddy maths here, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's correct. But if we get mudden, for example, so if we bring in some mudden, and you can see here, in our inventory, it is 9 minutes to 18 seconds. We chuck it in here. Look at that. An hour and 14 minutes. Now, take note that this does not work with um, organic polymer and wyvern milk. So it won't work with that, which eh, is not a bad thing. But if you're transporting mud in and, you know, you live in the highlands and stuff like that and you want to pack a hyenodons, it's definitely worth investing in because these guys are absolutely nuts when it comes to dishing out damage. Like, absolutely crazy. But uh, that's pretty much all that's noticeable uh, with the hyenodons, I believe. Um, there's not really much else that they have going on for them other than their insane damage. If you do want to use them for, like, Dishing out a ton of damage. Heavily recommend leveling them up, leveling them up in HP and melee damage, um, because yeah, they will just shrek and destroy anything they come across with a decent amount of HP. Even like 1400 HP is honestly enough if you get a decent uh, meat pack saddle on them, because they'll take reduced damage from whatever it is that they're fighting. So yeah, guys, I'd really recommend getting in some hyena dons if you haven't already. Um, they're definitely one of my favorite teams. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But I'm that, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.